With over a $140 billion valuation, SpaceX is the most valuable private space company in the world. The latest recruit at SpaceX is a software engineer who passed its technically challenging interview process. But he's very different from other recruits. What's different about Kyron Quasi is that he's just 14 years old. And if you're wondering, yes, there are restrictions for children working in the US for children age 14 and 15. The types of work they can do and the hours they can work are very limited. They're also generally limited to non-hazardous jobs. But Quasi is still very happy to land this job. He said in a LinkedIn post last week, I'll be joining the coolest company on the planet as a software engineer on the Starlink engineering team. One of the rare companies that did not use my age as an arbituary and outdated proxy for maturity and ability. The post came shortly before his graduation from Santa Clara University's School of Engineering, becoming the youngest person to do so. He's planning to make the move from Pleasanton, California with his mother to start working at SpaceX in Redmond, Washington. My name is Kyron Quasi. It is my dream to be an entrepreneur in artificial intelligence where I can work on platforms that actually use AI as a force for socioeconomic equity. Some individuals possess innate qualities and abilities that contribute to exceptional talents from conception. Kyron Quasi's story of being extraordinarily exceptional started at the age of two, when he could speak in complete sentences. By kindergarten, he was telling other kids and teachers about new stories he'd heard on the radio. Doctors tested Quasi's IQ to be above the 99.9th percentile in third grade and said his emotional intelligence was also surprisingly high. Once the test showed that he was profoundly gifted, his parents changed track and moved him to a specialized elementary school. Quasi says that his smarts have sometimes put him in complicated situations and more than a spot of trouble. But his talents have definitely been more of a blessing. Quasi is weirdly good at asynchronous learning. That means he can blaze through academic subjects and even learn stuff out of sequence. He learned linear algebra concepts before he ever took a formal algebra class. And after finding that his schoolwork wasn't challenging enough in the third grade, at age nine, his parents helped him enroll at a community college in California. Being an extrovert helped him to make a lot of friends in college. Some of them would even ask him to tutor them. Quasi also landed an internship as an AI research co-op fellow at Intel Labs. And by the age of 11, he transferred to Santa Clara University to study computer science and engineering. Last year, he spent four months as a machine learning intern at cyber intelligence firm Blackbird AI. And he helped design an anomaly detection statistical learning pipeline to flag if social media content was being manipulated. It appears he's already achieved one of his ambitions by landing the SpaceX job. For him, it was a dream to have a career tackling challenging issues and affecting radical innovation in the service of the common good. The whiz kid has said that he doesn't feel like he's been missing out of childhood, as some have suggested, but instead has appreciated the opportunity to have experiences beyond his years. Quasi will be working for SpaceX's satellite internet provider, Starlink. Starlink aims to provide global broadband internet access, especially in underserved and remote areas that lack reliable internet connectivity. Traditional methods of internet infrastructure deployment, such as laying fiber optic cables, can be costly and time consuming. Starlink's satellite-based network can potentially reach even the most remote corners of the world, bridging the digital divide and providing internet access to unserved populations. Rural areas often face challenges in accessing high-speed internet due to the lack of traditional infrastructure. Starlink's satellite network is designed to provide high-speed, low-latency internet to rural communities, enabling them to connect, access online services, and participate in the digital economy. Also, in the event of natural disasters or other emergencies that disrupt traditional communication infrastructure, Starlink's satellite network can provide a resilient and rapidly deployable solution. It can restore connectivity quickly, facilitating communication, coordination, and access to critical information during times of crisis. The Russia-Ukraine conflict is a perfect example. Starlink's presence in Ukraine has not only proven invaluable on the combat front, but also in restoring energy and communication infrastructure, Starlink's satellite constellation also supports space-based research and exploration. It provides a global network of interconnected satellites that can facilitate data transfer, communication, and coordination for scientific missions, space exploration initiatives, and future human settlements beyond Earth. 